Indeed, it has been a busy day here at APEC with a major focus on diplomacy. It's the handshake seen around the world. President Joe Biden meeting with President of China Xi Jinping, their first in-person meeting since last year. Both leaders vowing to work together amid what some have called a fractured relationship. We have to ensure that competition does not veer into conflict. For two large countries like China and the United States, turning their back on each other is not an option. The two sharing specifics about issues they believe can be tackled through partnership. Climate change to counter narcotics to artificial intelligence demand our joint efforts. The global economy is recovering, but its momentum remains sluggish. There is no uh, replacement for face-to-face -face diplomacy. But on Patel is the principal deputy spokesperson for the U.S. State Department. He stresses the annual Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, or APEC, is key to diplomacy, noting this year's forum in San Francisco features leaders from more than 20 Asian Pacific nations, not to mention more than 20,000 attendees. The goal? To um, have a stable relationship in place where we can talk and uh, cooperate on areas that are in the mutual interest of both of our countries. It's a message with which Governor Gavin Newsom agrees. Well, let me be the first to welcome. <laughs> you are the first to welcome. He met with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on climate. No to communism! Outside the summit, protesters urged Biden and Western leaders to condemn and cancel meetings with leaders of governments accused of human rights abuses, including China. But during remarks earlier in the day, Newsom, who traveled to China just last month, stressed the importance of dialogue. I was really proud of that trip. Uh, I, I was really, I'm really proud to see our two presidents meeting as we speak, I'm trying to turn the page, turn down the volume a little bit. I just think it's a very healthy thing. And President Biden is scheduled to stay in the Bay Area through Friday. Reporting at the APEC Summit in San Francisco, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.